Hello, hello! Perfidious Pete here, back to do more of Optimus Prime's dirty work because he's the laziest, most incompetent Autobot to ever transform and roll out in XCOM War of the Chosen. You heard me, Optimus Prime. I'm calling you out. You know why, Optimus Prime? You know why? Because you're giving semi-tractors everywhere a bad name, man. A bad name. Don't you bring shame to the noble semi-tractor, Optimus Prime, with your unrelenting sloth and refusal to do your own dirty work. Semis, they're the hardest working vehicles in show business, Optimus Prime, and you're making them look horrendous because in addition to uh, you know, occasionally turning into a semi and guilting them by association, it's just mostly that you're a lazy piece of shit who won't even protect his own informants, Optimus Prime. We gotta go do a mission to save Command. your people for you. Based on my research in collaboration with Shen, uh -huh. I believe we can reduce the intel cost of contacting additional regions by building radio relay towers along our network. You know, I have to wonder if there's not maybe some less visible, more obscure, more horrifying reason that Dr. Tigan wants us to build a series of radio towers. I have to assume it's just because he's disappointed that no one is listening to his how to uh, rape corpses and butt hurt aliens podcast that he puts out every week. He really wants to share the joys of sex with alien corpses, just like nobody's tuning in. He, he feels like it's just that he doesn't have a broad enough outlet. You know what, Dr. Tigan? That's not it at all. You have the broadest outlet available. The, the, the problem with the podcast not being successful, Dr. T, it's your subject matter. And speaking on butt hurt, by the way, we should probably mention Fal Il Baladur here. Because not only am I getting Shanghai into picking up Optimus Prime's dry cleaning on this mission, but I'm also tired of getting FPS trolled by some loser assassin who is, in fact, all butt hurt about the fact that I keep blowing her in half every time she shows up on a mission. We didn't get it this time because Dr. Tigan had to try and encourage us to make sure his podcast reaches the widest possible audience, but. Normally, it's Fal Il Baladur calling in to taunt us like a 12-year-old on Xbox Live who wants to be a Halo guru, calling us a camping piece of shit because we killed him from across Blood Gulch with a sniper rifle. You know what? I say to you, Fal Il Baladur, and that 12-year-old on Xbox Live who's probably in his mid-20s by now, it's a perfectly legitimate strategy. If you don't like it, you know what? Go play Quake Arena. Then you can just jump around in the air and shoot rockets at your own feet and rack up kill after kill after kill. Honestly, Fall Il Balador, I think if you keep up your current level performance, the Chosen are going to have to change your name. They're going to start calling you Fall Il Baladurp. Couldn't hit water if you fell out of a boat. Anyway, we got to go do Operation Death Face here to rescue Yuan Shin because Optimus Prime can't be bothered to transform and roll out. We're also going to pick up 65 intel for our trouble. The intel is sort of tertiary here. We came for the rich, creamy taste of scientists. The intel is just like the garnish of uh, parsley that they set to, next to the edge of the bowl. So rescue a VIP from an advent vehicle, moderately difficult. Okay, we got Yu Wan Shen, scientist, gonna get 65 intel. Let's fire everyone, actually. You're all fired, all of you. Everybody off the mission. All of you are fired. I'd love to take, you know, JK Rowling, how tired are you? Not really that tired. If we could get in and get out quick, maybe we could afford to take you. I wouldn't mind taking Lauren Bukes, although she is also a little tired. Charlie Houston is hurt, which sucks, because that means I think our best ranger is like George R.R. R. Martin. Who are you bonded with? You're bonded with Charlie Houston, who's also out of action. Okay, so Chuck Wendig, who are you bonded with? You're bonded with Cherry Priest. But you're t everybody's tired. All right, fine then. I don't want to do it, XCOM War of the Chosen, but you're going to force me to do it. This mission is going to be led by Stephanie Sparkles Meyer, and we're also going to give her a battle scanner. So battle scanner, med kit. We did open up an additional spot so we could have even more grenades, possibly. Uh, I guess we'll get RL Stein in the mix here. What should we put in Stein's utility slot? We can't give him a grenade. We could give him a bat. Yeah, you know what? He's fine. We need to come up with some more utility items, but in order to do that, we're actually going to need to build the proving ground. We can't seem to get enough, well, like combination of resources. The main resource in this case being space. We can't seem to get enough space to get it done. R.L. Stein. We're going to have to take one of these bond mates without their bond mate. Uh, Tabitha King is tired. Cherry Priest. 
Chuck Windig is only tired. Everybody's only tired for a day. That's the problem. They're all tired, but they're only tired for like the next five minutes. I don't want to take Lauren Bukes. I don't want to take Chuck. I mean, we could take... All right, you know what, Cherry Priest? I wouldn't mind a sharpshooter on this mission, so you're filling in. We have to have at least one... We need somebody who has at least Phantom. Okay. So Neil Gaiman has Phantom and Concealed. That'll do. I just want one person to spot. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we just go double sharpshoot. Pete, you're actually volunteering to take two sharpshooters on the same... I know I'm finding it difficult to believe myself. I, I'm, I'm as confused as you are. Mox, let's get you on a mission because it's been a while since you've gone anywhere. Regular grenade or flashbang, I guess, is the question. I'm, I'm sensing like regular grenade is actually probably pretty good. We could build some more med kits and utility items here, which, you know what? I don't hate the idea of. Oh, can't we build a mimic beacon? At least one person should be taking a mimic day. beacon. The only way we can stop them is to strike first. Uh -huh. We'll need to work on a covert action with the resistance in order to do that. Don't we have a covert action brewing though, Bradford? I mean, I'm pretty sure we do have a covert action brewing. Why can I not build a mimic beacon? I can, and in fact, I'm going to. Smoke grenade, don't care about. Do I want another battle scanner? Like, we're probably good. Don't we have a covert action brew in Bradford? Yeah, we have a covert action brew in Bradford. I'm not sure he even noticed me. Bradford trusts him, but I'm still keeping my eyes open. Yeah, it's probably a good idea, Lily. Otherwise, you're going to wind up roofied and drug into his lab. To be, you're going to wind up being the Numi Rapace to his Michael Fassbender in Alien Covenant. You're going to wind up some kind of grisly, horrific experiment that only ends in tragedy and despair. Although, not that you'd be so stupid as any of the scientists, quote-unquote, in Alien Covenant. I mean, how come everybody in Alien Covenant was a goddamn blithering idiot? That's what I want to know. Every single person in that film is retarded. <sighs> I digress. All right, Mox, you can only have one thing. I'm going to actually give Mox our Mimic Beacon, and then we'll give Neil Sandman Gaiman here. Uh, let's give you our flashback. Max one grid. Oh, he can't, can't carry that, huh? Uh, well, here. Get rid of this frag. You know, you might actually need the frag. Never mind. I'm taking that back. We could give R.L. Stein a flashbang, but it really R.L. just bring the fat bombs. Cherry Priest, we'll give you a flashbang. How's that sound? Good? I don't care whether it sounds good or not. You're probably never going to throw it because you're a sniper. This is the team, then. This is the team. Let's go get Yu Wan Shin and get him back here safe because we really need another guy to distract Dr. Tigan from what he's putting. When did we paint the Sky Ranger blue and yellow? I like that color, man. We're looking like the Blue Angels flying out to a mission. If we're going to be Blue Angels colors, though, shouldn't there be three other Sky Rangers flying next to us in like a really tight formation doing some wild acrobatic moves that are the opposite of inconspicuous? Should we have painted the Sky Ranger maybe a little less daring and a little more bland colors? Just paint it like a flat blue or like a silver? Navy blue and silver studies have shown, insurance companies have done studies to prove that they're the least likely colors a vehicle to be in an accident or be ticketed by the popo. And our goal here is to avoid being ticketed by the popo. We want to go with the non-vibrant colors. We want to be background noise, just blend in. We want to be as uninteresting and bland as whatever it was Bradford was trying to tell us, except while I ignored him, so that we could talk about the colors of vehicles that get fewer tickets. Don't be red or black. Those are the cars that speed the most, get ticketed the most, and have the most accidents. Especially red. Menace one five, we have a confirmed yeah, yeah. location for the VIP. Okay, we'll Who's go get him. It's fine. Move. Settle down. All hostile contacts. On the plus side, we really don't have very far to go once we get a hold of this guy. You gotta, like, basically just get him and go jump off a cliff, right? Yeah, he's right here, and then we just gotta, like, leap off of a cliff? Pretty much. Alright. Well then, let's, uh, let's get this party started. I wouldn't mind having some shooters on the roof of this gas station. Before we commit to any of that, though. Sparkles? Let's, uh, let's go take a look around. Moving to position. Sparkles does have a battle scanner. I'm curious whether throwing a battle scanner will actually reveal us. We have 12 turns? You've got a freaking eternity here. So what do we got? 
Advent. I saw an Advent officer, and we're probably, if they walk this way, going to get spotted. So maybe we should try and set up some Overwatch of some variety. Neil Gaiman, I'm just going to have you run to the roof here. Neil does have Phantom. So even if the jig goes down and he's got to stomp on us, Neil Gaiman's going to be the one guy who manages to avoid getting spotted and stays in cover. Everybody else, I want you in a position where if these guys do come at us, you can drop some overwatch in their face. Cherry Priest. Um, I mean, you have long watch. You know what, Cherry Priest? It's going to seem really unconventional, but I'm going to have you and Joe Hill just stand there. Like, you're not going to need cover at all. Overwatch for you. You got 12 turns. Let's burn one here. And if these guys come at us, we'll drop them with some long distance overwatch. They're not coming at us. And that is a shield bearer, too, we got up there. All right. So, Sparkles, bring your uh, shiny self up here. I'm on the move. And if you would be so kind as to deploy un better scanner, you could come over here and scan the area for us and see where the rest of the enemies lie. I don't know what the hell that thing is, but I don't like the look of it at all. What are you? You're a man in a gimp suit with what appears to be some variety of plasma weapon. I don't like the look of you one tiny bit. On the plus side, we do know you're there now, so Neil Sandman Gaiman should be able to come over here and actually look at you directly. What would appear to be a single entity is actually a swarm of tiny robotic units working in close coordination to maintain a cohesive form. Yeah, I don't really like whatever that is, Dr. Tigan. You've described it, and it sounds terrible. It's like a swarm of nanobots as a single trooper. Already I'm not relishing that at all. I'm also not relishing our overall general defensive position here that's going to require us to fight like 55 guys at once. R.L. Stein, let's get you up here. I really wish I had a Reaper on this mission and we could make all of these guys be dead in a single turn by blowing them up with a combination Claymore grenade. I love the grenade. I've been quite enjoying the grenade Claymore combo. It does really good work. Well, R.L. Stein's not going anywhere now. So we could bomb these two with the Granado. That reveals us. Can anybody else... I was going to say, could anybody else see anything? The answer is no. You could do Overwatch here. Cherry Priest, what do you got? Mox maybe coming in for the cleanup crew. I'm debating on whether it'll be better. You know what? I was thinking, you know, maybe it'll just be better. If we go for the Overwatch trap, I was thinking about it, but now I'm thinking maybe it'll just be better to try and straight up kill these guys. In fact, we could Lightning Hands move and shoot again or just shoot from where we, i got okay i got a plan pop this with a lightning hands actually cherry priest shoot that man in the dome just let him know we're here wake him up get their attention attention gathered this is what we want come at me bro oh you just made a deadly mistake son looks pretty tough all right so joe hill 62 percent at the advanced officer 26 wow that guy's real hard to hit though huh not too worried about him for the moment. If we bring our boy R.L. Stein over here to this full cover, he will have a slam dunk shot at this man, which very nearly can't miss. This should be a 94%. Yeah, it might not kill him. In fact, it almost can't kill him unless it criticals, but it does have a 40% chance to crit. Nope. Max damage, no crit. We're gonna need a little bit more icing on that cake. Uh, we did get two ability points from a flank shot, though, which is nice. Joe knows Nosferatu Hill. Can you see that, man? 60% chance. See if you can finish him off with your lightning hands, bro. Oh. Shot failed to connect. Yeah, we all saw. All right. Well, this man... The other thing I want you to do here, Joe Hill, is first off, get rid of that cover. We just want that guy exposed. Oh, did we accidentally set... Okay, so that's going to explode, and when that explodes, this is going to explode, and we don't want to be anywhere near any of that shit. 
So, yeah, that's not good. Stephanie Meyer, I'm going to bring you over here. You're going to be like, Pete, she's not going to have any cover whatsoever. That's okay. It's better to not have cover than to be exploded and killed in a double explosion. She only has a 78% chance to hit this man standing in the open? Well, turns out that's enough. Yeah, it was real good, actually. And then Mox, I'm thinking we bring you... Oh, Cherry Priest, don't you still have an action? Yeah. Oh, Cherry Priest can't see anything. Well, come over here and see if you can pistolero this man in the back. Let's move already. I know it ain't a great shot, but 68%, you'll probably get him. Adjusting sight. Or that could happen. Perfect. Well, Cormac McCarthy can see this guy from here. He has a 39% chance to hit him, though, which ain't that good. We're going to Wrath him. 79% chance to hit him. It does 60. Man, I feel like I've wasted so much potential damage here. Got him. Yeah, get cut, bitch. And we still have a move uh, with which I think we will probably just drop into Overwatch here. The entire world is going to explode in a moment. Man, I do love the fact that we got 87% chance to hit that shot, but we're just going to drop into Overwatch. I don't know why these guys are suddenly active, but I dislike the fact that... Oh, no, they're just patrolling. Never mind. I'm not sure what took that six damage. Well, we have vision on these guys. We could probably blow a sectoid spine out if we wanted to. This guy has a lot of health. So, R.L. Stein, if you go pretty much anywhere, you're going to trigger a pod. We should not want you to do that. Mox probably also can't really move without triggering a pod. I um, mean, he's got, like... Yeah, he's got a little he's got a little wiggle room here. What we could do is try to get these guys to wander into our position. You know, I kind of don't hate that. We can't see them, they can't see us, but we might be able to get them to wander into an Overwatch trap. So RL, like if we bring you around the corner, Absolutely. We'll do the same thing with you, maybe try to get these guys to wiggle their way into a little Overwatch. Cherry Priest, let's move you up here. I'm aware that we only have nine turns to get the guy, but I think once we get this pod dealt with, we're going to be in great shape. Joe Hill's going to dash Over. around here, and Sparkles... There gets you spotted, huh? Or does it? I mean, this says it does not. But before it said it did. Okay. Perfect. I love getting inconsistent information from my mod. That's fantastic. So these guys now have every advantage on us. Exactly what we wanted. None of our guys took Overwatch shots. Which they should have done. Fantastic. All right. Well, everything is coming up, Millhouse. All right, then. Well, we could come over here, drop a one on you, take a flank shot. That almost certainly will not kill you. Cherry Priest has got exactly what? Exactly nothing. Stephanie Sparkles Meyer, you have all terrible shots. And we have like three guys who are not in any kind of cover whatsoever. Because the game hates us. Can we flashbang all of these things? Yes, do that. So we're going to flashbang the two sectoids. And our goal is then going to be to try to actually kill this dude, if we can. I'm not sanguine about our opportunities to kill him, but Neil Sandman Gaiman can do a number on him. Which does the most damage? Six to eight with our sword. Well, we're going to get way more damage out of a shotgun blast to the spine, so let's give this man a shotgun blast to the spine. Target. Yep, we're spotted. Position I mean, I stepped on you. You can't get much more spotted than that. Six to eight, but with a 50% chance to crit, which we did not get. I was really kind of hoping on a critical, because then I was hoping to combo into that with the combat protocol and maybe get a kill. That guy is ab. 
Well, we're gonna have everybody hurt at the end of this mission. Perfect. Did we kill that man? Of course not. Hit him twice in the most unlikely bullshit. Neither one was a kill. There goes all of our Overwatch, which both missed, by the way. Perfect. Well done, guys. What is this man doing? I feel like that had to be a double move. What is Shadowbound? Mind control of some variety? The one health unit is mind controlled. And you get more actions because, sure, that's fair. Watch the side. Yeah, we're... I am the end. Yeah, you're probably just gonna be dead, Mox, because even flashbanged... I'm very salty suddenly. Yeah, I'm real pissed off, actually. I'm... Bradford, could you shut your fucking hole? All right, Stephanie Sparkles Meyer. Let's go kill this man and see if we can... You know what? I'm not even going to take a chance here. I'm going to have you combat protocol this man. And see if we can free our beleaguered unit. It's some variety of mind control. I'm guessing she's being animated by his mechanoid robots or whatever the hell that is. Shadow was killed. Oh, so it actually makes a copy of them. Alright. Well, that's, like, weird, but okay. 100% uh, chance to hit guaranteed kill on our sectoid friend. This I like. Do we have any way we can engineer a kill on this guy for sure? Mox, can you get over there and, like, maybe flank shot him in the brain twice? Something? Cormac McCarthy is the biggest jinx in the XCOM project, by the way. Every time we take Cormac McCarthy on a mission, he gets shot. Every single time, he gets shot. Just murder this man. Meanwhile, Blademaster, Neil Gaiman, out there giving that man the Krupp and Vandemar treatment. Be like, oh yeah, you know what uh, Krupp and Vandemar recommend? They recommend that you be dead. This seems like a total waste, but I'm gonna take the shot anyway. There we go. Jimmy the sectoid is also That's dead. Right. All right, Cherry Priest. We just want to get you and Joe Hill closer to the exit zone, really. Actually, Joe Hill, let's get you up here where maybe you'll have a little height advantage for us. We also kind of want to get Stephanie Sparkles Meyer to throw a heel at Cormac McCarthy so he can continue his streak of getting shot all the time but not actually dying. All right, Sparkles, up here. What's over there? Uh, well, I mean, Cormac McCarthy is over here, and I would like for you to gremlin heal him. Healbot coming through. There you go. Patch my boy back up. He's full of ennui and sentence fragments. He's over here like... The bullets. Spine shatters. Actually, you know what? Spine shatters is a complete sentence. It has both a subject and verb. Damn. I'd have to say, like, shattered spine. There you go. That's not a complete sentence. Shattered spine. Heartache. I'm filled with grief and despair. Nothing is ever good. Every mission shot in the face. My weeping. Ceaseless. Across the ashen wastes of this existence. Moving out. I really should have had R.L. Stein reload. Um, Jerry Priest, just come up here. Move, move, move. Joe Hill. Alright, let's bring you up here. Solid copy. Next turn, the only thing we want to accomplish is to have R.L. Stein reload. And no one was on Overwatch. And oh good, a Viper. Well, we're woefully out of position. We already used our flashbang that we might have otherwise entertained to keep that Viper from killing us, and R.L. Stein is out of bullets. All of these things are wonderful. So what kind of shots you got from here? Uh, terrible. We could go shoot him twice with a pistol. Joe Hill, what can you bring to the party? Very, very little. In fact, Joe Hill, your best bet might be to have you come hack the thing, although technically that is a Stephanie Sparkles Meyer job. All right, Mox... 
We could have you pull one of the enemies in. Alternatively, we could just... You know what? We could use our Get Out of Jail Free card here. I'm thinking this is probably a Get Out of Jail Free moment. Neil Gaiman, we have bigger fish for you to fry. If you hit this Viper, 6 to 8 damage. Not a guaranteed kill, but a reasonable shot at a kill. Go ahead and take that. Looks like Rattler's on the menu, boys. Call that a knife? Nah, it's a knife right here. Pete Neil Gaiman is not Australian. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Not a problem. You know what? We may actually, maybe we can just kill these guys. We don't need bullets. Just blow up their cover and gun them down in the street. We don't need to, we just gun them down in cold blood. I may be overthinking this with the Mimic Beacon, but I'm saving the Mimic Beacon for my last move just in case. We did score a crit there, which is nice. R.L. Stein still doesn't have any bullets, but Cherry Priest now has a vastly better shot on that shield bear. You know what? Lightning Hands is off cooldown. Why not? Worst case scenario, we just waste nothing. a bullet, and then we follow that up with this, which should go through his head. Right through the dome there. Yep, that's got him. Yeah, you got him real good, Cherry Priest. All right, Stephanie Meyer. Are you going to be able to get a shot at this man? You can see him from here, and you'll have a flank shot. If you say so. I, I mean, you look, you, you'll see him from here, and you've got a flank shot. Just don't be so doubtful of yourself, Stephanie. Here. Look, it. three up, three down. We already got these guys wrecked. We don't, don't even... You know what? No, I'm not giving you any ammo. I do want Stephanie Sparkles Meyer to be the one that comes over here and hacks this, though. Cormac McCarthy, get your dumb ass on Overwatch. Joe Hill, I want you on top of this truck and also on Overwatch. I may be overthinking a little bit, but I'm curious what kind of bonus we might get for having Stephanie Sparkles Meyer be the one that hacks this. R.L. Stein, I just want you to be aimed first. And I am expecting reinforcements at some point. Not this turn, per se, because we would have already seen their flare oh, beacon, way. but still. I am expecting them. Let's get uh, everybody real close to extraction. Affirmative. Joe Hill, get you over here. Uh, I'm trusting you here. Every, everything's dead, guys. Why are you so trepidatious? So? Like, what is it that's filled you with such an unholy amount of terror? Now, oh, I can hack that from here? Oh, well, we might as well let the guy out, then. I want to hack the other one, too, just to see what the mission benefit is. Maybe we can double up and get, like, plus hacking, plus hacking. Yeah, we're always going to go for hacking stat permanently increased by 20, even though we could guaranteed reduce the research time on our current tech. I don't care. Perfect. Nicely done, Sparkles. Way to go. It's just like when you wrote that scene and you were sitting there. She's like, Bella and Edward are in the forest. What can I do to make it... What can I do to make it readily apparent that my vampires are different? Most vampires turn to ash when exposed to bright sunlight. What's the exact opposite of that? What could I possibly do that will be more... more? How could I deviate? What could possibly do... I know! Sparkles! Well, I've always said that Stephanie Meyer is a fucking hack, but she's doing everything she can to thwart that opinion by refusing to hack anything. I thought it would be great. When I did this, I said, like, Stephanie Meyer is a special, so it'll be funny because she I means she has to hack stuff, and I'm always calling Stephanie Meyer a hack. See, how <laughs> this is going to dovetail real nicely. I'm going to get some mileage out of it. Nope, not at once. Here I am expecting her to prove herself to be a complete and total hack, and she just fucking categorically refuses. She's position. like, nope, turns out I'm a skilled and gifted uh, artist. Can we let the man out of the truck now? Box, just open the door. Let the man out. The VIP is yeah. secure and Menace one five status confirmed. VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction. Well, we gotta go all of like a dozen feet, so shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Stephanie Meyer refuses to live up to her reputation, which I got to admit has me relatively furious. Hey, you want Shen? Why don't you just leave then? You can just go now. Tempted to make a you go now joke, but it's kind of racially insensitive. Hollywood's fault, really, because you know, it's their stereotype. Moving out. 
I'm just uh, I'm just quoting the tip breakfast at Tiffany's line. I'm just I'm just the Jerry Lewis here. Fifty million Frenchmen can and often are wrong, especially when it comes to anything related to fucking Jerry Lewis. Overwatch. All right, Sparkles, you wanna get up here with the rest of the team? Double time. Now that you have disappointed us categorically by missing not only an opportunity to improve your craft. Oh, I forgot there was loot over there. Oh, well. Yeah, well, I mean, Bradford, this particularly right here is actually what I've been waiting for. So we're just going to do this and put these guys in a massive Overwatch Hody ring. How can we put Joe Hill in the middle there, Pete? Oh, I have my reasons. McCarthy's going to come over here. Attacking on site. Neil Gaiman's gonna be over here to shotgun whoever comes out of this vehicle. R.L. Stein's gonna be right here, ready to deliver a little bit of pain, and Cherry Priest is gonna take the long watch overwatch. Hello, boys! Come on down! Say hi to my welcome wagon! Hello, failures! Oh, are you guys about to have the best shore leave ever? It's gonna be fabulous! Yeah, we're being flanked, but they don't get a shoot. And uh, guess who else is flanked? Oh, right, all of them. I don't even know who's shooting what. All I know is that bodies are hitting the floor. You shot him while he was already dead. Joe Hill shot a dead man. I mean, that's just vindictive and also wasteful when there's this man who could have benefited from our bullets. You could have killed that man. He seems really confused. Yeah, he's really confused. Okay, well, we got two turns, which means we need to sort of get out of here. Cherry Priest, can you hit that man at all? There's a 40% chance of hitting him. That's not that good. Do we have anybody next to that vehicle? We do not. Alright, R.L. Stein, I got a plan for you then. I want you to come down here to the extraction zone. Sure thing. Man, you're real excited about leaving your teammates though. That's kind of a dick move. Don't worry, I'm not just gonna let you abandon them completely. You gotta like contribute a little bit by dropping a frag grenade on this man and potentially blowing up that truck he's standing next to. All right, well, you can leave now. Evac confirmed. I mean, your damage is done. Nothing more you could do. You've done everything that's possible. Jerry Priest, I was hoping to get you a little better shot here, but we're going to have you take a lightning hands. Which whiffed by a mile. It's still moving. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, here, let's just do this. Hey, Mox, you can grapple this man with the justice, right? I mean, like, sort of. Accept your fate. It was really the moving in part that was more important than the killing in part, but the killing in part was also nice. And now you can leave. We're good, everybody. Job's done. Let's go home. Let's uh, let's pretend we're a grunt from the original Warcraft and just, job's done. Let's, let's just go now. We can leave now. Except for you, Stephanie Sparkles Meyer. I want you to get back on the Sky Ranger and fucking think about what you've done. That's what I want you to do. You get on the Sky Ranger and you think about this, young lady. Very disappointed. Your mother and I, very disappointed in you. We're not mad, Stephanie Myers. We're just, we're just disappointed. Returning as ordered. Yeah. Not mad, Stephanie. We're not mad. We're glad you're home. We're glad you're safe, but we're disappointed. We thought we had raised you better. We really did. And also, that civilian over there hunkering next to that car might as well kiss their ass goodbye because they're all the way dead and as soon as I click this button. Wow, R.L. Stein, though, is fucking stoked. Cherry Priest does, I mean, she looks pretty pleased with herself as well. R.L. Stein, though, look at the man. I've got a real Red Dawn kind of Wolverines sort of thing that's coming off of R.L. Stein here. Meanwhile, Cormac McCarthy and... Are you high-fiving Joe Hill? 
Is that, or you said a fist bump. Nope. You're just sitting there with your fist clenched thinking about how bitter and miserable you are. Victory was ours. I know that it won't last. Nothing. Lasting is for others. I don't do it. Nothing lasts. Emptiness. It's all there is. Emptiness is the sum total of creation. You know what? I'm not even taking a photo of you. Yes. I'm not gonna... I'm not commemorating Cormac McCarthy's participation in this mission. I just refuse. All Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial report Did I blow up a gene therapy clinic by accident? Because it looked to me like I blew up a gas station. And honestly, an exploding gas pump with a car next to it probably doesn't even warrant a bit on the 5 o'clock news propaganda, people. I mean, if you heard in your neighborhood, hey, did you guys uh, hear about that car that blew up down at the gas station while it was next to a gas pump? You'd be like, whoa, was there some kind of mechanical failure? Somebody used their cell phone? Your first instinct would be to blame that on something innocuous, not the activities of potential, well, I was going to say terrorists, but we're freedom fighters. There can be no other path for us. Either way. Your first instinct there would actually to be to blame it on something mundane. We're going to take Shadow Step. You'd want to go the mundane route. Your brain wouldn't jump to, must have been terrorists. Your brain would jump to, it must have been something innocuous. <gasps> we can buy abilities from older ranks on level up too? Oh, I don't know why you'd ever do that, because these abilities cost more ability points, but still. Gain plus two mobility with every kill this turn. That actually seems really good. What's Whiplash? Attack an enemy with an electric lash. This attack does not cost an action. Well, anything that doesn't cost an action. Yep. Always take that. Oh, so ranking up actually just all it does is give you ability points. Or at least that's all it does for these guys. Huh. Very intriguing. I don't like reflex. It seems really shitty. Skirmisher is like maybe an ability worth taking. Tactical rigging. I'm not really enthused about that. I kind of like full throttle, though. Is that mobility permanent, I guess, is the question. Not permanent between missions, but like if I use full throttle and kill a dude, I get plus two mobility. Does that last for the rest of the mission? How does that work? I don't want to. I don't want to make a poster though. I just want to go back. I'm curious about that ability. It's going to be five days of minimum before we can find out. But we got bonds available everywhere though. Also recovered VIP Yuan Shen. You. Get down and go see Dr. Tygen. He's going to give you, you some kind of horrific task. I'm assuming probably mopping out the specimen jars. That's usually what he starts today, newbies with. Impressive it's going to be a surprising amount of Dr. Tygen's... Uh, Dr. Tygen? Dr. Tygen's seminal fluid in those jars, though. So, you know, wear gloves. Research time decreased by an additional 20%. More important, we have another scientist we could potentially deploy on a covert op. Man, I'm really wishing I would have taken the inspiration to have our Goss weapons, but I didn't expect Stephanie Meyer to fail quite as bad. <laughs> uh, who's the fool, Pete? You didn't expect Stephanie Meyer to fail quite as badly as she... You're, you're right. That's on me. I've warned the That's crew to stay away from the Advent League rations. We still don't know what they're putting in that Probably stuff. people. Uh, Tabitha King, George R. R. Martin. So I thought we had more bonds available, didn't I see? Oh, no, it just it means unbonded. Okay. We have no idea how co like how close are we to a bonding with anybody? Well, Neil Gaiman really likes R.L. Stein. And, like, he doesn't really like Stephanie Meyer much at all. Like, not really. Very, very, very little. And I gotta say, it's, it's pretty unsurprising. I don't really like her either. How are you tired? All of these people... Okay, they're tired, but only for one day. Oh, wait. They're not tired. You went on one mission and you're tired for a day? Jeez, Neil Gaiman, we gotta work on your cardio, bro. That's not so good. Well, let's run up here and see what uh, what we can do from tactically. We got a little bit a little bit of a short mission. I know we have a supply drop available. Uh, I mean, yes, I do want an engineer. What are we in the midst of doing right now? We had to be working on... Oh, we were... Avenger no, that's not where I wanted to be at all, though. I almost had to be picking up these supplies. This is the engineer, though. 
That's fine. We can tag that. Yes, I want to leave. I want to go get those supplies, and then I'm coming back for the engineer. At some point, Pete, you really need to go make contact with the black market. Man, you ain't kidding. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest... Aw, Jim Butcher action. got hurt. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready... That's all right. Jim Butcher got five extra dodge and some cohesion with Anne Rice. We picked up 25 alien alloys? Or did we use... No. We didn't use alien alloys on this one because otherwise we wouldn't have taken wounds. We also picked up Axel Weber Engineer. He's the man who invented the Weber Grill. Axel Weber, inventor of the Weber Grill. I mean, it's no wonder we got hurt. Those grills get really hot. So we can recruit Templars. Oh, we get, oh, we can get a replacement. Yeah, we got to do this. Also, soldier reward promotion. Always take that. Hunt the Chosen. We do have a lieutenant now, so we could do it. But uh, form soldier bond. I like form soldier bond as well. Gain ability points. Also really good. Manufacturing upgrade. Superior weapon upgrade. Oh, this gives us a one. Wow, seven days for one weapon mod? No. I would rather recruit improved combat intelligence. Improved combat intelligence is really good, and it doesn't take very long, but we want to send somebody really smart on that mission. First things first, though, we're going to recruit Templars, and whoever our highest ranked soldier is, is going on this mission. I hate to send JK Muggle Rowling, but she's it. We're sending JK, picking her up a promotion, and I, you know what? Last time we sent these guys out, there are no risks for this mission. Last time we sent these guys out, they did wind up getting ambushed, but they fought through it like champs. Lauren Pukes and J.K. Rowling are a fantastic team. I think we continue riding that pony till it bucks us. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't mind riding a little J.K. Rowling till she bucked me off. <laughs> I can't really even finish that sentence. Actually, she's not very. I'm sorry, J.K. Rowling. You don't have a. You know, Perfidious Pete's all about the neck, J.K., and yours isn't all that great. My followers will lead this action. Really? How about that Alan Moore? Because it didn't really feel like he was leading us to any kind of victory. Alan Moore led us to crazy, and then he led us to a cemetery, and then he led us to his grave, and then he crawled in it. So, no, don't go back to Reaper HQ. Our supplies are picked up. I don't really care about Scorched Earth. I really just want this other engineer. Speaking of which, we did just pick up an engineer. We need to give that dude a job. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering yeah. team. But I mean, as I, stands, we have people still waiting well, for Well, you could have just assigned them. It's very clear what we need them doing here, Lily. Or, staffing a facility. Uh -huh. or, you know, maybe cooking us something on his fantastic Weber grill. Have you ever considered that maybe our morale... Maybe our morale would go up if we could get some delicious burgers up in here that weren't made from human flesh? Dr. Tigan squandering valuable company resources so he can get a steady supply of Advent burgers. I recruited the man who invented the Weber grill so we could cook our own burgers. Really need to start taking advantage of that, Lily. Cormac McCarthy has recovered from his wounds. To be a to we picked up a new Templar. Okay, a little EXP. Lauren Bukes and J.K. Rowling getting it done. Whose mind is awaiting orders? Rowling just got a promotion. Okay, so what we want to do now... Uh, locate Stronghold, though. We should probably... It does increase our faction influence, and I want another Reaper more than I want anything else. I really want another Reaper. I wouldn't mind improving our combat intelligence, though. Let's find someone whose intelligence is already very high, and then let's crank it up. Also, we need to promote J.K. Rowling. So she only has standard combat intelligence, which means she's very unlikely to get action points. So let's promote you implacable. It's so good. Bladestorm, however, is also very good. Really, Pete, you think Bladestorm is good now? Well, here's why I think Bladestorm is actually okay. It has nothing to do with regular enemies. For those, I would be vastly more inclined to take a placable. But Bladestorm would be fantastic for any mission with the Lost in it. Because you could just have Laurent Bukes run into the middle of a big pile of Lost and then start slaughtering all of them. You know what? I'm taking Bladestorm. Implacable, I may pick up with ability points, assuming we can get ourselves some ability points. 
All right, so who's really smart? Lauren Bukes is already super intelligent and has 20 uh, ability points available. So Lauren Bukes is amazing. Who else do we have that's really smart? Charlie Houston is above average. Box is an idiot. Or Cormac McCarthy. No, no surprise there. Uh, Joe Hill is gifted. Joe Hill, very strong potential candidate there. Chuck Wendig, above average, all right. I don't really feel like a Grenadier is a great... Uh, Neil Gaiman is gifted. I don't really feel like a Grenadier is a good candidate for this. Ugh, you're a genius, though. Full gunslinger. Oh, man. Comboing a gun... Oh, uh, hello, Guzman. Sure, let's get your shit taken care of. Oh, you came at a higher... So we killed Alan Moore, but we got a higher rank Templar to replace him? All right, I don't hate that. After attacking with Ren, prevent all damage from the next attack instead of moving. So that's basically amazing. Target struck by Volt will be easier to hit, increasing your squad's aim by 15 against the target. Doesn't seem that good. Amplify. Mark a single target with a psionic lens, causing them to take an additional 33% damage... From a number of future single target attacks cost one focus. Not a huge fan of that. Quick draw. Firing your outer pistol no longer ends your turn. That actually seems respectably useful. Stun strike. Stun an enemy with psionic force, knocking them back in the direction of the attack costs focus. Pillar. Pillar of psionic energy to act as high cover costs one focus. Huh. Overcharge. Rent attacks have a 33% chance to generate focus in addition to killing someone and taking... So... We're going to take parry, because it's amazing. And then I think we're probably just going to take overcharge. So we're really going heavy into the side blade tree here. Pillar seems interesting. Sunstrike doesn't seem all that interesting. Although it only costs one focus. Amplify is intriguing. All right, well, Guzman, I mean, we weren't even... We came down here to look at people who were... We're looking for smart people, and you ain't it. How about Tabitha King? Only standard. All right. I don't want to give it to a Grenadier. Guzman wasn't smart. How's George R. R. Martin? You know, he's above average. All right. Anybody else down here really smart? Neil? You smart? Nope. Uh, Tony Morrison? How about you? You smart? Tony Morrison's pretty smart. I do really like the idea of our specialists being really, really good. One of our specialists is already a savant, though, and we could... <sighs> what was that sigh all about, Pete? That, that, that was... That was the profound sigh of a man who just deeply, deeply hates himself. That's, that's what it was. The, the, the sigh of a man who is about to... Oh, you know what? Good. I can't... I was... The game is... Thank you, game. I appreciate it. You know what? You have saved me from myself, and I am thankful. I was about to do something I know I would have regretted forever, and the game is just like, don't do not do that to yourself, Pete. Just... Why, why would you do that to yourself? Don't do that to yourself. And you're right. I don't want to do that to myself. Um, how's... I really kind of want to do this. I would love to do it to Charlie Houston. We're picking up an unsecured transmission from some clown calling himself Van Dorn. Doesn't sound like the kind of recruit where... No, because by this point he'd be like 95 years old and I bet his hands would shake too bad to hit anything with that sniper rifle he used to wield for us. Neil Gaiman is gifted. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna give this to Neil Gaiman. Besides, the man is beyond gifted. Neil Gaiman is... Uh, he's beyond genius. He's beyond savant. Neil Gaiman is fucking magic. It's fucking magic. I don't want to train abilities. I want to come to the resistance ring. Send Neil Gaiman on a covert action to improve his intelligence and also give him a little extra willpower. There you go. Neil's in. Uh, we can send in any scientist. There you go, Yuan Shen. There you go. Do your job. This is why we brought you on. I brought you on the team to make you do stuff. And then you're like, I don't want to do stuff, Pete. I'm just going to go down and uh, play some Factorio. Is that okay? Like, that's, that's a form of scientific research, right? I'm researching our production tree. I'm trying to streamline our logistics a little bit. Oh, we have people who can level up a bond? Oh, JK Rowling. All right. So Rowling and Bukes here have a chance to deepen their bond? Do it then. 
Advanced teamwork. Grant an additional action point to a bond mate. Has two charges per mission shared between bond mates. That's freaking amazing. Dual strike. Combine standard shot attack by this soldier and their bond mate. The shot is a free action for the bond mate. Okay, I mean, both of those seem absolutely fantastic. This soldier cohesion thing, man, seems to be paying some pretty significant dividends. Charlie Houston's back in action. And what do we got? Another guerrilla operation. Commander, with the number of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for support from... So we're going to thwart a hidden event. This mission is difficult. Sabotage transmitter. Dead man skies. A horde. The decision is yours. Advent have retreated from this area, leaving only large amounts of the lost. Well, I really wish I had my Blade Master lady on this mission because she'd be doing us fantastic work, but... <sighs> Wish in one hand, Pete, crap in the other, and see which one leaves a mess first. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be the Ducas. The Ducas is gonna, it's gonna fill your hand. I mean, see which hand fills up first, Pete. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the one with the Dookie in it. On the plus side, you can at least fling that handful of Dookie at your enemies, whereas wishing will get you literally, in, you know what? Wish in one hand, crap in the other. Say what you want, but after you've crapped in the one hand, at least when you're done, you have a handful of crap. Wishing gets you jack shit. Well, that's not true. Crapping in your hand actually gets you jack shit. Wishing doesn't get you anything at all. I'm going to wrap up the episode. We'll be doing that covert op next mission. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see whether we can muddle through a lost mission without our premier lost eviscerator, Lauren Bukes and J.K. Rowling, I consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of XCOM every single day. Right now, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.